This is now confirmed. Mauricio Pochettino has parted company tonight with uh, Tottenham Hotspur. It seemed impossible to consider Maurizio Pochettino could be sacked by Tottenham as he celebrated with fans following the club's historic Champions League semi-final victory over Ajax. But less than six months in, that's exactly what happened. So what went wrong? The Champions League final run masked poor domestic form in 2019. The club's last Premier League away win came back in January. Cracks began to appear between Pochettino and Spurs. As the club's new stadium ran over budget and was repeatedly delayed, Tottenham were forced to play their games at Wembley and in Milton Keynes. OK, maybe I can go after the press conference, I can go and help the, the builder to, 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 to help them, but it's impossible to do more. I think it's, we need to be patient and understand uh, that the club is doing everything to try to finish the, uh, the stadium. This meant Pochettino was forced to work with a budget which was dwarfed by those of Spurs' top four rivals. After signing Lucas Moura in January 2018, Spurs signed nobody in the next two windows, much to Pochettino's frustration. Maybe the club need to change my title description now, you know, because my job now is to coach the, the team. I am not in charge, I don't know nothing about the, the situation of uh, my player. I am, I am only coaching them, trying to, to get the best from them and this type of things that is going to happen or not happen, um, uh, sell by players, extend the contract, not extend the contract, I think it's, it's not in my hands. Tottenham's failure to strengthen the transfer market meant the average age of the club's squad shot up from under 25 years old to over 27. That rising age profile took its toll as the players found it increasingly difficult to replicate the high-pressing, high-octane football that had brought Spurs such success initially under Pochettino. He called for more unity in his squad earlier this season. Now what we want is, is to win and any result is going to be good for us. The most important is how we are going to finish. It's not that moment. Of course, it is not nice to see you on the, on the middle of the table. Uh, but that is our reality that we need to accept and accepting your reality only you can improve. We know very well that we need time, be strong, uh, be solid and start to win in because that is going to be uh, the best thing for us. Tottenham's inability to convince key players to sign new contracts has also been an issue. Christian Eriksen, Jan Vertonghen and Toby Alderweireld, all pillars of Spurs' recent successes, are all in the final years of their contracts. Pochettino felt the early closure of the transfer window had a negative impact on Tottenham's early season form. We are in disadvantage with the European clubs because still they, are, um, they have 20 days more to, to operate. And I think it was a big mistake for the Premier League to allow that. You know, in some time was good because you are going to start the season, but in this type of situation, you know, we open the door for different clubs in Europe uh, to try to uh, to create a confusion in your in your squad. You know, and I think they, after two seasons, to operate in this way, the Premier League realized that maybe if Europe not change, I think we need to go back and start to uh, operate in the same way that they operate now. Those are now Jose Mourinho's problem to fix. And he had his say earlier this season in the Pundit studio. This season they are not having that kind of, of, of chemistry that I felt that they had in the team. Um, I don't know uh, if, I'm, if I'm right, of course. Why do you think that is? What do you see when you watch I them? See that f f I see that... I always felt that uh, Spurs in, in, in the last years... Of course, they were not buying, or they were not buying a lot, but they were doing something that for me is even more important, which is to keep all the good players that they have. And somehow, with, with Mauricio, with uh, Mr. Levy, with the, ev everything around the club, they persuade the players to stay and to stay happy. That was my, my feeling, perfect chemistry. Um, they managed to give some new contracts to, to Harry Kane and to other players and it looked for me that they were happy to belong to that project, to that club, to that dream. Maybe now, the feeling that I have is what is happening with Harrison, 
uh, with Vertonghen uh, in the end of last season with Alderweireld. It looks like probably now some of the boys are not so happy to stay. They have their eyes in bigger pictures. Um, other players getting more money than them, other players winning titles. Look to Kyle Walker uh, winning uh, trophies, looking to the possibility to play uh, for Real Madrid, for Barcelona, for Paris Saint-Germain. Maybe in this moment the team is not that, that focused family full of chemistry.